Hey, this is my ThinkPad X61 laptop. It's uh, beloved for its small size. It's one of the last, oops, losing parts, one of the last four, three dimension screen laptops, and one of the last with the beloved ThinkPad classic keyboard. So for a project I was thinking I would take this and I'm trying to do things non-destructively here so I can put it back afterwards, but I was thinking it would be fun to build a Raspberry Pi compute module for motherboard replacement and put it in there. So one of the first things I'm working on is the screen. So one of the popular mods that people do is they get a display from the tablet version of the X61, which is IPS-like, it's called AFFS, and it is, what is it, 1400 by 1050. So I ordered this one off AliExpress from a shop called Kevin Trade Shop. It came with a lot of the uh, hardware modifications already done and this custom cable which swaps some pins. So uh, it came in good shape. I put it in and it looked good. But one problem with these older screens is that they use uh, CCFL bulbs in them which get pretty dim. So. I, th I felt like my old screen was actually brighter than this one, so I tried to just swap the tube. It it worked until I tried to put it all, put it back in the enclosure, and I think one of these wires got pulled a little too tight and is like shorting. Anyway, it doesn't work. So on AliExpress, there's also a seller called, what are they called? I think they're just called TV LED Bar Store. They sell an LED mod for this particular screen. Came in a little tube, came with the LED strip, a different uh, driver board. Uh, I don't know what is different about here, but it looks like there's some uh, some little jumper wires been moved around and a piece of reflective tape. So now I'm gonna try to put this in here and see how it turns out. That's pretty good. Okay, this is a pretty janky setup, but uh, so here is the screen with the new backlight in the X61 compared to an X230. The angles get real bad on this, and this, because it's not attached, I'm just gonna move the screen, the camera rather. So yeah, that's pretty good. And this one has real bad PWM dimming on the camera. So far, that's pretty good. It's not like, I wouldn't say it's crazy bright, and it is still a little bit yellow in person. I wonder if it's because there was, was there a lot of Kapton tape on it, or is it just like kind of yellow LEDs? I'm gonna have to watch the, well, look at it again when I get it out. But the good news is, everything booted. So, that's a victory. So I couldn't leave well enough alone. I started monkeying with it off camera. And the brightness is a bit better, but I, I messed up the, the, the layers of the uh, diffusion material a bit. And now I've got a little white, not white, but light colored 
band on the bottom and the side. So I don't know. Should I just quit? Quit while I'm ahead? Or maybe I'll ah, maybe I'll just take it out and kind of give it a give it a little tap. See if we can just tap her back into position. That sounds like a bad idea. Okay, I took it off and I just kind of turned it on the side and banged it. And the bat, it, it did work, which kind of is like disappointing because now I'm going to do it again and I'm going to break it because it's still not lined up on the bottom. And this is when I should quit, but I'm not. I'm going to bang it, bang it around, bang around. Well, I'd better just close it up and count my eggs because they've hatched I don't know banging it around worked again I didn't want to set up the tripod but the gist of what I did was you know just kind of this is the old screen oh just kind of did this and everything slid back into place so there's no justice in the universe but I'll take it Okay, squeezing all the wiring in here was challenging, and hopefully nothing is shorted. Okay, it's all together-ish. It's a little bit hot here, a little bit hot in the corner, and I'm really struggling to get this sealed, and the operation here is not responding but I think I'm gonna call it here for now so if you're wondering about that LED strip it can work much better than the old CCFL but yeah you might get some hot spots